Let's get a look ahead to next week with Ron Insana and Michael Farr, both of them back with us. Uh, gentlemen, welcome. Michael, I, I want to come back to something I referenced in my notes earlier, and that is that you say you expect that next week you will have sufficient clarity to make some buys. What, where does that clarity come from? What does the clarity look like? What's the trigger? It's not going to be coming really from the markets, Tyler, other than the prices and, and our price discipline. If you have a, an investment discipline and you're not invested and you go through a period like this, you'll say, all right, if I meet these valuation metrics, I will invest. And we think we're going to get there on a couple of different companies we like next week. Having those rules helps you make uh, sound decisions and not emotional decisions. Emotional decisions will take you under every time. Ron, what's the best wisdom you can leave us with tonight? I think we're setting up and the markets will have to deal with a titanic struggle between the effort to support the markets and the economy, potentially with lower interest rates and tax reductions or fiscal stimulus of some kind, and bad news on the virus front. You alluded to another case of unknown origin in Santa Clara, California. To the extent that we get more bad news on the virus front, and then we also get offsetting policy initiatives on the economic side from either the Fed or the federal government. I think this will be the real struggle. Which one wins is going to be an important question. Last word to you, Michael, 30 seconds. T Tyler, we will get through this. My friend in Mooresville, Indiana, David Jackson, a great American, reminds me that America always perseveres. We always get through. You can invest in this country. Don't give up hope. We'll get through this. It's going to be tough, but we're going to get through. In the long run, I couldn't agree more. Ron Insana, Michael Farr, yes, thank sir. you very much. We appreciate it. All right, let's give you tonight's headlines one more time. The Dow lost 357 points today, 3,500 points this week. And the only reason the loss was as small as it was was a 600-point rally in the last 15 minutes of trading. Meantime, a new case of coronavirus has been confirmed in California. It is another case of so-called unknown origin. Uh, another major conference has been canceled because of fear of the virus. It is the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco.